the Society of Arts and Crafts was established in 1897. The mission of the organization is to encourage promotion and education about contemporary craft. The work that we show at the Society of Arts and Crafts would be in the league of museum quality. They are handmade objects in all media, in the clay, glass, fiber, metal, wood. The Society of Arts and Crafts has several core programs as part of our organization. The first one, which most people know us by, is our retail gallery, which is located on Newberry Street. The first floor is a retail craft store. We represent approximately 200 artists in all craft media from across the country. You can find jewelry and glass and ceramics, both functional and sculptural, uh, furniture, wearables, basically all craft media. On the second floor, we have an exhibition gallery. We do four exhibitions per year. We try to balance the shows by including well-known artists as well as emerging artists. The exhibit program is free and open to the public and is open seven days a week. Another program that we offer is the Medal for Excellence in Craft Award. This award was established in 1913 to honor master craft artists and any other person who has made a significant impact to the craft community. In conjunction with the Medal for Excellence Award, we frequently include an exhibition of the recipient's work that tends to be sort of a retrospective of their work. The SAC Artist Awards is one of only two cash grant awards in New England, and to date we have awarded over $60,000 to New England area artists. Craft Boston is a show of contemporary craft at the World Trade Center. We take over the entire facility. It's about 50,000 square feet. We include approximately 175 artists from across the country. There's also a small contingency of international artists, which adds a nice extra to the show. Each of the artists that comes to the show basically sets up their own booth or sort of mini gallery with their work. They're there to talk to the public about their process and techniques uh, and inspiration. My name is Nancy Nicholson. I'm a stained glass artist. I moved to Brooklyn about seven years ago, which has been great inspiration for me. I wander around the city and I have thousands and thousands of photographs and then I pull from them to capture the composition that I like. And then I'll make a drawing from the photograph. And with each step, I'm interpreting the image. This is my sixth year with the show and uh, it's been a great experience to just see the evolving aspects of the show. It can be challenging and difficult to get exposure through the gallery route and this is a great way to show your work, have a nice contained space to show it off. You get to meet people directly which is really I think something you don't get from a gallery route. I'm Bonnie Bischoff and I'm a furniture artist. This show is a really lovely show. You see artists here you don't see at other craft shows. It projects a world of craft that people just don't get an opportunity to see any other way. There's lots of reasons to come to Craft Boston. You may come just to look at the objects and to see the wide range of art, craft, and design. You may be coming for your spring wedding gifts because it's that time of year. And you may be coming to buy something special for yourself or you may be coming to help decorate your home. There's also a lecture series that happens throughout the weekend. Uh, some of the lecturers are exhibitors at the show and we bring in some outside professionals to also talk about particular topics related to the field. One of our newest programs is the SAC Artist Mentor Program. This program was designed to help young and career artists or artists who've been out of school less than five years and to help them get their work to the marketplace. I think that part of the success of the program is that we're offering skills and experience that are really impossible to include in a university or school environment and by actually having them learn and then implement the skills that we're teaching them make it a full circle program. We also do tours at the show for special interest groups who might be particularly interested in just jewelry or just wearables. We also do tours for the blind and visually impaired. Uh, also this year we implemented doing tours for uh, the deaf and hard of hearing and one of the lectures was signed as well. So we include a full range of programs and activities throughout the weekend besides the wonderful and amazing shopping experience. I thought it was wonderful, it was a lot of fun. Um, there were so many different artists here, I didn't expect to see as many as there were. What I really like is that there are a lot of artists whose work I haven't seen before. And I, I love seeing the work of new artists. I think um, a lot of the booths are very imaginative. This is my first time, mm -hmm. and I would definitely come back. Absolutely. <laughs> Craft Boston seems to be a wonderful surprise for first-time attendees. When you walk in, it's a beautiful show. Each artist booth is special and unique and has a very different flavor. There's a wide price range in the show from 
$20 to $20,000, so there's really something for everybody. You should come to Craft Boston if you have any interest in contemporary art, craft, or design. It's a wonderful experience.